All right, welcome to the July 11th, 2023 Aries Cloud Asian Python user group meeting. Um, number of topics to go through. I messed with the order and the agenda in the lower part, but I realized I didn't update it in the summary, so I'll fix that as we go. Um, we are recording, so we'll be posting this after. Reminder, this is a Linux Foundation Hyperledger meeting, so the code of conduct is in effect, as is the Linux Foundation antitrust policy. Um, I'll post the agenda link in the meeting. Um, people are welcome to jump in there and help out with note-taking and uh, add their names to the attendees list. Um, for those new to the call, welcome. Glad to have you here. Um, if you'd like to uh, introduce yourself and talk about what you're doing, uh, what your project is and what brought you here, we'd love to hear from you. So I'll leave the mic open for a few moments to let anyone introduce themselves. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm new. I'm Robert Simpson, uh, and uh, just went through the Aries Developer uh, course on EDX, and so uh, I'm looking to uh, develop uh, some verifier verifiable credentials kind of uh, apps with uh, images involved. So that's the direction I'm headed. Okay, um, BC Gov just added a, uh, a photo to the person credential that is being used um, within the province. So definitely workable. There's just a new RFC about using a data URL. On it. So, all right, good to know. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, next up. Uh, any or sorry, anyone else want to jump in? Okay. All right. Um, as far as announcements go, uh, so I'm going to try to keep this meeting relatively short. The Aries Framework JavaScript um, workshop is on right now, just started. So uh, I am. Uh, I had signed up for it, looking forward to it. So I think I've I've kind of kept the agenda. Um, a little bit shorter than it had been. Um, and hopefully we focus on the right things um, for this and people can jump over to that that are interested in that. Um, Akapai release 082 and 100 RC3, the release candidate three, ha have been released. So those are out in the wild and, and um, recommend updates. Um, one of the, the last minute things, and it really is is part of the dependencies of 8.1.8.2. Um, but if you're using the um, images, artifacts, um, you know, container images, um, 0.8.2 has been updated with this, which is there was a bug noted in um, and in and non creds when using Ascar and the CredX library, where a verification with multiple um, revocation registries involved would fail um, because of the handling. Um, this was something in the Python wrapper um, has now been fixed in CredX, been fixed in uh, and being fixed in the um, and on CREDS RS library. Um, but be aware of that one. Um, other than that, there's a, a, a change log and a number of, of new updates in the 082 release. Um, likely we'll have breaking changes and we're gonna talk about one of those a little bit later in this. So the next release is probably 09 or, or perhaps we get to 1.0, we'll see. Um, 1.00 RC3 is identical to 082. Um, it was an unfortunate decision that, that um, I made to start releasing release candidates of 1.0, um, thinking we were closer to that than we than we were. Um, and so what I've decided to do is just continue the release candidate stream um, for anyone who was on that, but um, but just simply make it compatible with whatever the latest Akapai release is, so identical to it. Um, so you'll see those as they go. Um, 
I don't know, Daniel, if you want to share any updates on the and on Fred's Rust and Akapai. Um, we did a presentation last uh, two weeks ago, um, PR 2276, which is the main work that's gone into that, is has been merged into a branch in Akapai, and there's a project board, and we're getting more developers on that. Um, Jason Sherman, I'm not sure if he's here today, but um, we'll be um, starting on that um, today. Um, wrapped up um, something that got merged earlier today, so he's going to be jumping on that and and pushing on it. And um, we'll add um, more people as we as we can, and anyone who's interested in helping out um, with this work um, is welcome to join in and and um, put up your hand, and we'll. Um, help you get started and get moving on that. Um, this is a very high priority one for us, um, getting an on-creds RS. It's a, a big effort and we need to, um, and, and involves a bunch of cleanup. And um, so we'll improve the overall state of Akapai and we're looking forward to getting that done. done. As well, um, work on DidPeer and two, uh, did peer two and three support in Akapai continues. Um, not too much uh, uh, updates to make, and, and Jason Syrotuk, who is doing the work, is not available today. Um, so I won't give much more of an update, but he continues to work through it um, with um, more and more success. But it's a, it's a bit of a struggle through um, both a learning curve in, in ramping up on this and then the sort of dynamic nature of did peer one, two, and three and how um, different implementations have come about. Um, so we're really trying to nail that down into a single implementation that's consistent across all of the ARIES libraries. Um, this came up this week in issue 2289, which is to switch over to poetry. Um, this is a, a purely a developer's question. And, and so I've sort of opened it up. Maybe Daniel, you could talk about it or others that have proposed um, this idea of using poetry. I know I've seen it more and more in projects, but I don't know the implications of it. So um, I leave that open to others. I, I'll, I guess, briefly comment and say that, uh, so I was the one that raised that issue. Um, uh, if, if I'm being honest, I don't feel too strongly about this. If, in fact, if I continued using uh, the standard PIP stuff that it's been using for a while, I think that's just fine. Um, but poetry does bring some nice to haves. It's a it's a better developer experience, I would say overall, um, and has slightly more um, its dependency resolver and uh, all the stuff around like resolving the tree of dependencies and stuff is is slightly better for poetry than as compared to pip um so yeah it, it's just kind of a nice to have uh we've got a lot of experience using it on the indicio team and we use it in our plugins and it's there's no issues with like mixing and matching between you know installing a package that was built using poetry and then using that from pip or the other way around so that there should be no change ultimately in terms of like the actual usability of the package that gets published. Okay. Um, anyone else um, want to comment on poetry versus PIP? I totally agree with Daniel. the The resolver, the resolver is uh, absolutely very, very beautiful. So. I think that direction is um, is, is very welcome. Okay. What is the type of effort to do uh, the transition? Is it just a single PR to basically go through everything and change it? Obviously, the GitHub Actions change. Uh, right. It's a breaking change, so this would be a good time to do it because we have breaking changes going into this release. I guess it depends on how you define a breaking change. It's a it's a breaking change in the sense of if you're a developer on the project, then there's a bit of a change in workflow. But as a consumer of of either the container images or the package that gets pub published to PyPy, there's no change. Okay. 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 
I, I would say, I would say um, whether we do it now, whether it changes much or not, at some point yeah, it's going to happen. So um, rather keep it for later, we can just go ahead. So I believe um, the change is not much for those that are not really developers like Daniel said. Okay. So um, I'd say we should encourage uh, someone with poetry experience to put in a PR, make the change, and then we'll announce it and, and just make it known to all developers working on Akapai about the change. And right. Any, I guess the other way to put this is um, from any of the developers, any, um, any issue with doing that, uh, any, anyone against the idea of using poetry versus what's being used now? I mean, it is, it is two extra characters when doing an install, the type. I guess my only comment would be what's what's the scope? Are we changing all the images? Um, tease poetry, or are we leaving all the requirements text in there? So basically using poetry to do the um, dependency resolving and then just exporting them as requirements. I, I just like I, I'm using poetry, so I'm fully on board with that. I just kind of want to know what the scope is. My assumption, and but I could be wrong, my assumption would be we we basically change, um, we include the GitHub actions that are producing um, the dependencies to also use poetry. Yeah, it's, that's what I would recommend. We could, as Jason was saying, we could you know just export uh, a requirements file from the lock using poetry and use that to install. Uh, but I, I would definitely recommend just doing a wholesale shift to poetry wherever we use it or where we're at wherever we're using pip right now that is okay sounds good yeah i just yeah that's it yeah okay so invite uh anyone to make the change if someone wants to say they're going to do it now um so that there's not multiple people working on it that would be great um or tag yourself on issue 2289 um and a pr is welcome um, we've got people with lots of experience, obviously, um, from different organizations that can can evaluate and review. Um, so we'll welcome that PR. I may, add, I may add a comment in there um, just recently, yesterday. Um, there's some there are some dependency conflicts with what's going on in Akapai and other assorted things. So you kind of have to pick specific versions of packaging and whatnot. So maybe as part of this, we can smooth that stuff out. Yeah. So I'll leave a comment in there uh, if I can remember exactly what it was I did yesterday. Um, but it'd be nice to not have to have poetry say, hey, I can't do this because, yeah. Right. So yeah. I'll try. I'll try. Remember where that it was and put it in exactly. But it, yeah, we can smooth that stuff out and be great. Okay. John, did you want to add something? Um, no, 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 not, not at the moment. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Okay. Next topic is a couple more PRs that we want to process. Um, Twenty-two. 95 in today. Um, so let's get down to the pull request. Um, allow any bid to be public. This um, touches on the Indian resolver with the goal of allowing a, for instance, did web to be a, oops, uh, did web to be a, um, a, uh, a, a public did. Um, so encourage folks to look at it. Looks like um, we have some, um, some updates or some review being done on it. Encourage that. And then if we like this, um, we can get it merged. So this looks like a good a good change as far as I know. Any comments from it, Daniel, or anyone that has taken a look at it already? Uh, I've only glanced at it so far. Uh, glanced at it deep enough to, to know that it overlapped with 
work that I know Sikpa was was doing. So I invited uh, Clement on the Sikpa team to comment, and he's now left some. I just haven't gotten a chance to to follow up on that. Okay. Um, it also may I, I don't know overlap with some of the work. Yeah, it's it's did related. So um, I did want to get uh, Cyro to look at it. Jason Syrotech to look at it in relation to the bid peer two three. But yeah, I, I had the I had the same thought, and then I I backstepped because it was specifically talking about handling of public dids, which I know did yeah. peer. Yeah, so I, yeah, but I think it would be valuable to have his insights, especially because of how much he has been touching dids lately. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. It's funny that what you said that described exactly my thoughts today on it. <laughs> Okay, um, next one was this one, which is a classic example of um, why not to have too many discussions in a task when you should be getting together on a phone call to talk about this. So I'm hoping the right players are here. So the overall issue is um, uh, a while back, we made it a default to remove um, credential issuance records um, from Akapai. And we did it by having a flag called preserve exchange records. And the intent, I think at the time, um, was that we would also do this for presentation ex uh, exchange records for, um, for not only issue credential, but present proof. But that didn't happen initially. Um, we do want those removed. Um, and in in some cases, but we do want some fallback to allow specific um, instances not to delete those records if they don't want to. We now have sort of two schools of thought, and um, there's been back and forth on this with me going particularly far back and forth in, in deciding which to support. So basically, Jason has implemented this idea that we would remove it, and then and, um, implemented a way to allow the removal to be requested, um, which is this approach, which is there are, he has implemented four flags, um, auto remove, um, for example, uh, prover, or, sorry, presentation and um, and then the role of the person. So whether it's a, a verifier, uh, a holder, or whichever. So auto remove exchange type. So there's there's quite specific controls over these. And that's one way we can do it. The other way is simply add a flag that says by default we're going to remove any present proof records once they've completed. If you want to retain them, you would use this um, preserve exchange record. This preserve exchange record would apply to both issue credential and present proof. Um, there's pros and cons for both. There's been a lot of back and forth. Let's have a discussion here to finalize this. Um, Jason, do you have a opinion on what ought to be done? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, I agree that there's a, uh, there are a lot of configuration flags and learning how to configure Akapai is, um, difficult. It's tough to wade through. So adding four more flags <laughs> as opposed to enhancing the existing one is, I can see an argument against that. Um, the, the reason for having the flags, I, I, particularly because I'm coming from traction, which does want to retain um, records. Um, my thought was more along the um, allowing the flexibility to do anything. Um, yeah. So that's what that was. I don't really, if, if the community feels like, hey, let's just um, do what the original intent was to have the uh, preserve exchange, go across all the exchanges. I, I'm fine with that. It's really, it's more of a community kind of thing. So, um, you know, having four more flags is confusing potentially. <laughs> Flexibility comes at confusion, I guess. <laughs> so 
but that that's really it it's um that's where my head was at with um and with adding the flexibility was that i coming from where i came from that would have been wanted um but yeah. awesome enhancing enhancing that current flag would still i think achieve the goals for the traction team regardless so uh, yeah. okay um I think my, I'll jump in with my views, and, and I'm really back and forth on this, as, as you can tell from my ridiculous comments on this. Um, my feeling is generally that Akapai and the storage should not be for long-term storage, that Akapai should be strictly for, um, you know, protocol, um, for tracking in-flight protocols. And once a protocol completes, it's up to the controller to preserve any information necessary. So um, I like the default of removing them all. I like the ability to save them if, if you want. So my leaning was sort of where we were to begin with of, of having that preserve exchange record as an option to keep both issuances and um and um exchange you know uh, present proof records um often while while any particular agent can do all of those things um often they they won't do both so there won't even be any crossover um so i i think i would go with one, option one of these two options uh would be mine Daniel, you've weighed in. Um, so I, I just had a thought while you were talking there. Um, so I, I think I'm in agreement that I think we should have the preserve exchange record uh, be the command line argument that controls the, um, or, or that influences the removal of uh, these records. Um, with the only remaining question that I, I really had as I was thinking through this was, do we really need the granularity of picking and choosing which records we did or, and did not preserve. Um, and, and I think a better answer to that, rather than having more command line arguments, is in the admin API, we make sure that we continue to respect the auto remove uh, parameters on the presentation and, and credential exchange um, endpoints. And so if you need that granularity, you have the option to do that through the admin API. Um, and then otherwise, you know, you can you can either turn on the hose or turn it off, and that's it. And, and I think that would be preferable. Okay, got to make sure I write a note down here. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm. That sounds good to me, and I really think that the like say coming from the traction world, the, um, I think they can write a plugin to do, <laughs> to change that behavior. Right, it's not it's not a huge deal. And I think at the end of the day, the real behavior they want is actually slightly modified um, in that they don't want to retain the whole record. They only want to retain a subset, which would be like preserve with transform or something, because they only want some historical context to know, um, you know, when this was sent, whatever, and the conversation, not the all the encrypted stuff. So a very small payload. So I think to me, that would be let let them write a plugin, or we can write a, a that's kind of specialized behavior. So yeah. I think if we stick with the Akapai behavior being um, option one, respecting the auto removes on the API, and then letting additional funky behavior be in a plugin, I think that's probably the way to go. Okay. Um, do we need to do anything with this to enable that? plug-in capability or can we just move forward with this one and then that can be done at a, at a at, as needed i would say they they can do it when needed that um as long as right now they have the ability to keep all the records they want which as i say are massive right now which is not what they really want but that's just <laughs> that's just the way it operates so i think just by having the the, the preserve exchange record option will keep them working just fine until they have time to address like what it is they actually do want to save, which is a small subset of that data. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. 
Any other feedback from anyone want to weigh in on this one? At this point, we say we go with one and we make sure that the um, admin API has the necessary um, fine grain functionality that that could provide this if necessary, that a controller could do what they needed to do. Yeah, um, I, I think I think it's the optimal solution right now because um, I think respecting the auto remove and um, giving the um, other guys plugin to be able to like keep what they want, um, it I think it makes them more in control. So um, we don't actually need the full transaction history, just um, like um, a, a sort of um, back, um, a way to track back the history of um, those stuff. So I think like it's the optimal solution. Good. Okay. Yeah, I know that topic has come up before, which is um, that even if you preserve the record, it ought to be, well, and maybe we should talk about that. Um, you know, as Jason said, if you preserve the entire exchange record, you've got all the messages that went back and forth. Does it make more sense to preserve, when you preserve it, to preserve a minimum sub, uh, a subset of the data, or do we pre preserve the entire protocol and leave it to a plugin to do the pruning, essentially? I think I lean towards leaving it to the plugin. Yeah. I, sorry, Daniel, go ahead. No, but, uh, that's really all I had to say, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, cause right now I know in traction, there is a plugin that um, tracks the status change timestamps. So that's something they want to have. Um, they just, I don't think they've sat down to determine what's the end at the end, we've got this whole thing. What do we? What's the data we need out of it? So I think they can just enhance that uh, history plugin to say, "Great, when it hits complete stage, let's remove all the unnecessary um, stuff." I just don't know if they've reached that stage yet in their um, getting user feedback on what, as a business, I need to see to be able to know what has transpired. So, so that basically answers the question, which is yeah. if you want to preserve something, you can decide what to prune and what not to prune. What what do you want to keep? So if we do something in Akapai itself to prune the record, um, we're making that decision globally. And that's probably not the best idea if we're, if we're going to go with that strategy. So that answers that question. Yeah, I would I would think it could get very specific for different groups very quickly. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Um, okay. The last thing I wanted to do then was, are there any other pull requests? The other one that is this one, um, are we at a point where we can merge this one, Daniel, or are you still looking, you didn't get input uh, from anyone on that? Um, yeah, I, I would just out of, uh, I don't know, uh, ob observance of convention and protocol, I, I would appreciate having some review some others since I, I had a small hand in that, but. Um, Jason, you've got that one, I guess. Uh, most likely you're the one to do it. So over to you to take a look at that one. Yeah, I can I can look at it from a, a coding point of view, but I really uh, quite honestly don't know enough about signatures and stuff to if there's a technical um, thing in there related to that, I'd probably be able to weigh in on that, but certainly from a, you know, a, a code perspective of what's going on, which I'm sure is fine. But yeah, if, if someone's more an expert in uh, signatures than I am, which I'm sure there are, <laughs> um, that'd be great. Okay, um, you go ahead, um, weigh in and, and just put in whatever you think is appropriate as a comment, let's take a look at it. Um, and then we'll decide from there if if we need someone else to take a look. Okay, sounds good. Awesome, thank you. Uh, we've talked about this one. This one is gonna be stopped. 
Um, so there's a few others that are, are down in the list um, that are quite old. Um, so we'll probably take a look at, at some of them. Um, this one is, is pretty small and, and just to do with an OS separator. So I'd really like, I, I just don't have enough knowledge on this one to, to decide, but maybe somebody um, could take a look at that one as well, just to, to, to clear it off the list. Um, that, that's the last important one. Oh, Daniel, this one. <laughs> um, I'm guessing we want to remove this one, I think, but a decision needs to be made as to whether it has anything that helps with what you're doing with the Anon Craig's work. I mean, the goal of it was to use the existing things for ledger agnosticism. We now have an on creds where that's that's the basis of it. I don't know if we want to do anything like this. Right. And not do we just close this one. Um so I can go back and, and do another quick scan. It's been a while since I've looked at it, but I, I think um from my memory, I think we're probably gonna just end up closing that one. Um so I just they, they they very much went in the direction of um they matched the same interface that existed previously that was very much defined by Indy. And so yeah. anything uh, anything you would plug into to their interface would have to more or less resemble Indy, um, which is uh, you know achieving the same goals of ledger agnosticism, I suppose, but is a different approach from the non creds interface where we we went back and simplified and then yeah yeah all the complexity of indie specific stuff is is behind the scenes as opposed to being right up front in the interface so yeah uh, i can go back and and give that another quick scan through see if there's anything that um, we but, could uh, really benefit from still but yeah almost certainly it's 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 to be closed so and that that's a fine outcome don't don't be stressed about that sure. uh but it would be worth you having a quick look at it. You're the best one to look at it, if you don't mind. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Okay. Um, I think that gets us through these five. Um, this is being worked on. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. So there's a few others we can look at, but I, I, they're not urgent right now. We've, we've left them long enough. So um, we'll look at that. Um, and I think that wraps us up. If anyone, um, as I mentioned earlier, anyone is interested in helping out with the um, inspiration of the Anoncreds RS work that has expertise in, in Akapai internals, um, please raise your hand, let us know, and uh, we'll be glad to um, get you involved in that. With that, I think, are there any other topics people want to raise at this meeting? So the, the only thing I wanted to follow up on that was on the agenda there was the extra meeting plan for maintainers each week. Yes. Yes. Um, so one of the things we wanted to do was to have a maintainer, an extra maintainers meeting. Um, I was thinking I'm, in the off week for this is the indie developers meeting. I was thinking um, maybe uh, the half hour after that meeting, we could have this one. So um, nine Pacific um, for 30 minutes on Tuesdays. Would that work? Daniel, you're important. Jason, you'd be important. Works for me. Works for me as well. Okay. Awesome. I will put that on. Um, on the, um, this is a maintainers week meeting. Um, Key, the key thing we want to go over would be um, work in progress and the processing of the PRs. Um, I, I do encourage maintainers at any time to call a meeting with the set of maintainers. We do have a list and um, where we're working on things uh, to, to get discussions like we had with this presentation exchange record 
so we're not going too far back and forth. So I do encourage that, and um, those can happen as well. But as but let's have a meeting every week to to go over what what we're doing from a purely development perspective. This can be more focused on sort of end user things and and demos and things like that. Um, Right now, maintainers, there's a list of, of maintainers, A and B, there is a process for becoming a maintainer. If you feel like you've done the work necessary and want to be a maintainer, definitely encourage that. Or if you simply want to join in on the maintainers meeting, um, I would encourage that as well. We welcome you. With that, any other topics to go through? All right, thanks for joining. Um, I will set up the maintainers meeting for next week. And as I say, if anyone wants to join, um, ping me on, uh, on Discord and I'll add you to that meeting. Perfect, thanks folks. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having us.